Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a couple of features in Sketcher uh, that you might not have known were available to you. Uh, so uh, I have an organic shape here that I just spammed out uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, very complex if you were going to try to recreate it, uh, but with a couple uh, easy tools clicks we can completely remake this shape. So let's go ahead and make a new sketch. And now I'd like to show you the use tool right here. Uh, if we click on this, uh, we can select any uh, line, any edge of uh, an extrude, anything like that, anything that has a defined edge, uh, and we can select it. And it'll make a line following right along the edge here. So this shape that I made originally has two sections to it. So you'll notice I have one on the left side here that comes around to there, and then another on, another on the other side. But let's say, for example, that I had a really complicated uh, shape, like a 20-sided polygon that I needed to remake. Well, with Pro Engineer and the Use tool, uh, that would take 20 clicks to get working. But if we use a different part of the use tool, we can make our lives much easier. So if I click on the use tool, you see over here in the type, I have single chain and loop. Well, if I go ahead and click on loop, it's going to try to find a loop from whatever edge I'm on right now all the way back to itself. So if I click anywhere on the edge here, let's see if I can get my mouse on it, there we go. Right now you can see every single side highlighted in blue. I click and voila, there it is. Every single edge. So if this was a 20 sided shape, a million sided shape, it would select all of them for you using the loop feature in here. So now we have uh, this part right here, uh, but let's say we wanted to boost this out a little bit, uh, make an offset uh, that was a little bit out because we wanted to make a, uh, a foot for this to rest on. So we can use the use tool for that, uh, but use a little bit different. So if you click on the arrow right next to the use tool, it opens up a couple different functions. Uh, the middle one here is the offset. Uh, earlier versions of Pro Engineer only have offset. They don't have uh, the thicken edge right here. So if we just click on the offset, uh, again we get the single chain and loop features here, uh, and they perform the exact same function as with the use tool. So for simplicity, I'm just going to hit the loop here and I'm going to select the edge. And now you see this little arrow here. Uh, if you've ever played around with uh, sliding the thickness of an extrude or making new datum plans, you'll notice that uh, you can get an arrow uh, pointing in, in different directions to show which way the part is, uh, the dimensions are going to. So right now what this arrow indicates is that I'm going to make a thicken uh, an offset uh, out here on the outside of the part. If it was pointing inwards, it would mean that I'm creating uh, an offset on the inside here. So, to show you what I mean, uh, let's insert 25 there. And now you can see I have my original edge here on the inner part right along the extrude, and then an offset edge that perfectly mirrors it all the way around 25 units away. So, that's wonderful. Um, and you notice when I did that, I would used a positive dimension. Uh, so again we have the arrow going out, but let's say we added a negative 25 here. Well now it tries to go in, and in some cases that doesn't work all the way. So let's go out the other side, there we go. So now we have negative 25 in all the way. And you'll notice that these points here aren't quite the same as on the outside. It's not quite as a smooth shape. That's because it tries to go 25 units perpendicularly away from every single point on the outside here. And in this case, that's just too close in to get a, as smooth a curve as possible. So I hope that was useful. Uh, I'm thinking about making a series about uh, all the different tools that are available here and the different functions that you can do with them. Uh, and hope you found this helpful.